so uh, now that I'm out here testing it out, let me give you my, my real-time impression. Wow. channel fine right here I've got another great video for you today I uh, am doing another upgrade on my 2020 streetlight CBO sand dune that you see right here and what you're probably not noticing is what I'm doing it you probably think it's the clockworks yes I just did install that check out the video if you haven't seen it already But uh, what I'm installing, or actually, I'm going to show you the install, but I've already done it, are the Karyakin highway pegs. Right there. So... I just finished installing them, but before I give you my full review, do me a favor, if you're new to the channel, on this channel I focus on motor vlogs, ride reviews, ride videos, cinematic uh, drone flights, flying my DJI Mavic 2, and uh, riding and doing product reviews all on my 2020 Sand Dune Street Light CVO that you see right here. So if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, would love to have you as the channel continues to grow. And uh, if you've joined uh, me already, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for uh, all of my subscribers. I uh, thoroughly appreciate you uh, joining me. And uh, we're right over 620, I think, is the last time I saw. So uh, just uh, a huge amount of thanks to all of you that have joined the channel. And uh, I think as most of you know, I started the channel probably about, I don't know, five months ago. Seriously started the channel about five months ago. And uh, really, really appreciate uh, everybody joining and really appreciate everyone that uh, watches the video and comments on the video. I think as most of you know, I respond to every comment. And uh, again, your feedback and your thoughts make me better, makes the videos better, makes the rides better, all for your view and pleasure. So uh, thank you again. And uh, to those of you that are just joining, welcome. And also, do me a favor, uh, hit that like button. It really does help out the channel. And uh, remember to hit that bell icon so you can be reminded of future updates. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch back now and uh, do an unboxing of these Karyak and Highway Pegs. I'm going to walk you through the steps that you can follow to install them. Uh, all the tools that are required. All of the uh, multiple adjustment points on these pegs because there's a lot of them. I won't do a full thorough install because there's a ton of videos on YouTube on this. But uh, I am going to show you step by step uh, what you can do. And uh, if you want a more thorough sort of review, you can check out some of the other videos. And then uh, after I uh, show you the, what it takes to install, you know, after I show you the tools required and a uh, relatively easy process, then uh, we'll come back here and then I'll give you my impressions and uh, my initial thoughts. Uh, and then, of course, I'll continue to talk about it in future videos. So uh, let's switch over to the unboxing right now. All right, so like we just talked about, we're gonna do an unboxing here real quick, show you what's inside. And then I'm gonna show you the tools required to do the install, uh, and then we'll do a quick install. I won't spend too much time on the install. Uh, just like everybody else, I typically do a lot of research online, and there's numerous, numerous videos uh, installing the Kuryakin uh, Longhorn offset highway pegs that I'm about to install now. So uh, I will show you what I'm uh, using and uh, I'll talk about how easy it was for me. And then like I always like to do after the install, we will hop on the bike and then uh, we'll go out for a ride and then I'll give you my full impressions of how they feel, uh, initial reactions, initial impressions uh, from, um, from testing it out. So let's unbox this bad boy. All right. 
think that's, I think that's it for what's in there. That looks pretty beefy. And the reason why I went with this particular uh, foot peg out of all of the options that are available is uh, this uh, seemed to have a lot of adjustability. Um, I mean, you can tell it's got an Allen wrench here. It's got an Allen wrench here. Now I'm gonna show you here real quick uh, how I put these on. I'm gonna show you the tools that I need for it. Uh, and then we'll go for a ride and, uh, and check it out. All right, so I'm gonna show you the tools that uh, I'm using to uh, install. As you can see, I already, I already did this side, but I'm gonna walk you through the steps that I followed. Uh, and again, there's lots of videos online. If you wanted to go much deeper into the details, uh, but I figured I would just uh, give you what I did and uh, walk you through the steps here real quick, uh, and then we'll take it off for a ride. So first thing, um, you need a uh, three-quarter inch, uh, you need a three-quarter inch wrench, and uh, you need a uh, quarter inch Allen wrench. So those are the two tools that we're gonna need. So this is the actual foot peg. You can see it, it's got multiple adjustments. It's got an adjustment here, it's got an adjustment back here, it has an adjustment here, and it has adjustments there, and it also has an adjustment back here. I don't know if you can see that there. So this actually will adjust the height where your peg actually rests if you wanted to go higher, if you wanted to go higher or lower. You can see it right there. And that's exactly why I bought these foot pegs because of the adjustability. So I can play around with it and get it to the exact level that I would want it for maximum comfort. All right, so that's the peg. This is the actual piece that uh, attaches here. So you can, th there's actually a, a right way and a wrong way to set this on your bars here. You can tell this has a, a, a flush mount here and it's got the, the screw here at the bottom. So this is the top, this is the part that goes to the top. Well, this is for the other side. Uh, so that way when it rains, it doesn't actually get through there. And then this uh, opens up right here. There's a, a pressure washer back here. There's a washer that goes inside here. This closes this way, like that. And then you've got this uh, decorative piece that goes here at the end. And then it also has latches so that when this comes in here, this locks into place uh, when you start to tighten this, uh, this screw here. And that's it. Fairly simple install. Uh, I already did it on this side. I also, uh, I already have these highway lights mounted already and these were done by the dealer. So they're um, at the right distance uh, in terms of the location of the bar. So all I did was use a uh, measuring tape so I can measure the actual distance from the light to where I want at the top of the bar. And that's about five and a quarter inches right there. Uh, so I'll do the same thing on the other side. Uh, and then from there, I'll start adjusting it and see uh, what works best. And, uh, and then again, we'll take it out for a quick ride and uh, show you. So this, uh, this will go right about here. Again, this has adjustability, it goes this way. You can adjust it this way. All right, so I'm not gonna show you the other side because basically it's the same thing. Again, a lot of functionality and a lot of adjustability on these uh, particular uh, Kuryakin uh, foot pegs. All right, so just finished installing this Kuryakin highway pegs. Let me show you what it looks like here. I'll show you what it looks like from the top of the bike here. That's what that looks like. Nice and smooth operation. You can tell I've angled them a little bit 
This feels more comfortable this way in the position when I put my foot there. That's the screw that I was telling you about. Basically, it's an Allen wrench. You could adjust it so that, let's see how it's in an angle there. You could become, you could become flatter if you want it, depending on the adjustment of that screw. This feels just right for me. And again, I've measured to the extent that I can all the distances from here to here, here to here, here to here, and it all seems to be right on point, equidistant for the most part. So if you've installed these before, let me know down in the comments below what you think. You know, is that the way you installed it? Remember, this has a lot of adjustability here, 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 and then in the back there. So if anybody has this on their uh, CVO or any of your street glides, or frankly, I think even road glides, it'll work. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. I would love to hear your thoughts and uh, suggestions or recommendations. So right here, without even riding the bike yet, it feels great. So uh, let's take on a ride, see how it feels. on these pegs so uh, now that I'm out here testing it out let me give you my my real-time impression Wow let me tell you that just feels right so my initial impressions are they're fantastic it feels awesome it feels super comfortable, so easy to pull up and take down. I don't know if you can see it right there. My initial impressions are they are super comfortable they feel right feels like it's in the right place to me again uh, if you've uh, installed these before on your bike and you see where the position is relative to where my controls are uh, let me know down in the comments below is it too low too high too much uh, angle again let me know down in the comments below would love to have your thoughts I'm going to continue to play with this and uh, make him put, maybe put them higher, change the angle a bit on them. Again, the, the, the reason why I like these so much so far is, uh, as I talked about on the video, there's a lot of adjustability. you got multiple ways you can do it uh, so that it suits, uh, again, your riding style. But right here... Woo! Man, that feels good. Take some of these turns right here. Come right here and boom. So there you have it. So you can see where it is relative to the shifter, and then you can see where this one is relative to the brake.
really good. And then you can also do this, kind of rest your feet. You can bring them in a little bit. Like that, if you want to rest. Again, a lot of adjustability. Those are my initial impressions. A huge uh, thumbs up to the Kuryakin uh, Highway Pegs. I think highly functional, highly adjustable. I think it'll suit just about any type of rider, in my opinion. And uh, again, this is just an initial impression. I'll come back after taking it on the highway, taking it on long rides, and give you. Oh, yeah. And then I'll come back and give you. Uh, my overall review uh, and impressions of the pegs after I put some miles on them but right now they feel great so uh, big thumbs up if you're considering like I was a lot of options out there and uh, these feel great Let's close those bad boys up all right again do me a favor if you like this video hit that uh, like button it really does help out the channel also remember to subscribe we'd love to have you as the channel continues to grow and uh, remember to hit that bell icon so you can be reminded of future content like this one again thanks for watching